every day has its own feel. And, um, and today, what struck me as I breathed in this wonderful air that we have and look at this wonderful sun that we have uh, with us today, what came to mind were these words. Beauty runs ahead of us. Now I'm thinking of that just in relation, again, to the weather that we're experiencing, to the, you know, the, the wonderful nature that we're surrounded by, but also in relation today, to today's exhibit. The exhibit titled, Collage, A Cure for a Disordered Life. Wonderful title. And these are the works of Ingrid Frydenberg. Ingrid was born in Latvia during World War II and she lived from 1944 until 1951 in a displaced persons camp in Germany. Her family immigrated to Long Island, New York in 1951. She then, uh, in 1962, moved to New York City, attended City College where she got her BA and her MS. And then in 1975, she uh, also uh, she received her MA and her PhD in 1975. Her MA was in 1973 from Long Island University, the, the Brooklyn campus. She attended New York University and has a certificate in psychoanalysis and psychotherapy. And her works have been exhibited in many, many places. Her works have been exhibited here in Connecticut, in New York, in New Mexico, in Paris, and in Servan, France, as well as Paris, France. Collage, it's, it's, it's a unique art. It has its own eclectic beauty. And when you meet that in Ingrid's work, you meet her as well. This is what she said about how this artwork fits her. She said, in collage, one can restructure and rejoin parts from the past, from private passions, from the lost, from a shattered world. World War II, she wrote, transformed my life. So collage has become my mode of expression, a cure for a disordered life. And to support the creative efforts of this particular art form, this particular form of beauty, going back to where we started about beauty. Of course, I did a Google search to find out how we are defining beauty. And I believe the reference was from a work entitled A History of Beauty by the Italian writer Umberto Eco. Listen to this. There is evidence that the perceptions of beauty are evolutionarily determined. Evolutionarily determined. Those things considered beautiful are typically found in situations that are likely to give enhanced survival to the genes of the humans who perceive them. So maybe I should really say, welcome to longevity. <laughs> So welcome to Longevity, welcome to this beautiful exhibit, and now I'd like to welcome Ingrid herself, who will share the backstory of this wonderful show.